Hi guys and welcome back to Koi Fish Johnny. Uh, this episode ain't going to be as upbeat as the rest so if you're looking for an upbeat video it probably ain't the right place. Um, as you know as I've discussed with you guys uh, I've been a bit worried about one of my fish, um, bent tail. His tail's got progressively worse. I spoke to a load of guys out there, a lot of the experts like Vince at Twisted Koi and other, other guys that have commented have been great in helping me try to understand what's gone wrong with this fish or anything. And a lot of people think it's um, a birth defect. It's just that the tail was like that or it's it seems to have got progressively worse, almost like the bottom of the tail is growing and pushing it vertical. You'll see, because I've took loads of videos this morning and contacted quite a few people um, directly about this uh, to try and understand what I can do and how I can help and it doesn't look great, the options aren't great. I think, to be honest, he's going to pass. I don't want ever to take him out of his own out of his own misery because he's struggling or what but we'll go and have a look at him now it's like i say it's not it's not going to be the prettiest nicest thing to look at a fish with a bent tail struggling to stay alive but this is the dark side of the hobby this is the part of the hobby that nobody wants to deal with um probably a lot of people won't show this type of video purely for the fact that you do feel a sense of guilt inside that you've done something wrong and you've let the car down um could you have done more, you should have done this, you should have done that. Uh, you start questioning where you bought it from, but I bought this koi from an outstanding place, um, Oaks Koi Farm. Um, and it's a beautiful place, they have the most beautiful fish. I mean, this is a, t a tiny little fish, uh, super inexpensive. And I'm damn sure that they would not have sold this fish if they would have seen it like that. So I know it wasn't like a case of I've been had off, because that's not the case, 100% not the case. It's a beautiful place, it's a well-run place. It's a great place to visit, and the great people that work live there and own it, uh, and they give great advice. So that isn't the case. It's just, just one of those shitters, really. Uh, so I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna probably flip you right round and maybe edit some of the videos that I took from first thing this morning when they opened the curtains. Came down with the kids at like six o'clock this morning. Uh, opened the curtains and the bifolds, and there, they, there he was, bent tail, just. Uh, swim around in circles and float into the top it's shit it's shit so sorry for swearing but and i won't swear in future videos but this is just one of those shitters hi guys just open the curtains and uh unfortunately as i'll show you in a minute it's a bit sad but uh yeah bent tail uh one second i see him you well, can't see him at the minute he can sort of alert top uh, just going round. He's fighting for his life, but as we as we know, as we discussed on previous videos, he seems to have a biological defect from birth, which wasn't spotted because his tail is so dark uh, that his tail's bent upside down, which means that he can't swim properly. I was hoping to pull through and just have a little bit of a strange character, but looks like it's going to be the worst. <clears throat> Jax, don't say bye bye. Oh, inappropriate. Bye -bye. Nice one, son. Bye -bye. One second, let me flip you around. Watch this, he won't be here now. Yeah, he is. I don't know if you can see there. Guys, right at the back. There. He's so dark that it's actually really difficult to see him. Uh, he's just floating onto the middle there. You can see. I think I'm going to have to cut uh, the video in that I did earlier into this to show you the extent of his tail, but look at, look at that. It is just not a nice feeling. In fact, I'm going to... I, I don't... Yeah, it's just not a nice feeling, that at all. Uh, but nonetheless, it's part of this um, hobby and part of having pets. They do die, and I'm, I'm the type of guy that, in like uh, I Am Legend, the Will Smith film with the Alsatian, I'm more worried about the Alsatian or more upset when the Alsatian gets hurt than I am Will Smith, even though I really, really like Will Smith. But my point is, I love animals, and it upsets me to see animals in pain, especially because you can't communicate anything. But this little fella's bent tail is, I think it's just too much for him to handle. Uh, a birth defect, a growth defect, whatever it is. 
I know what people have opinions out there and I hope they're just like quite considerate with their opinions and if there is anything I've done uh, try and be gentle with it take care guys bless him man just trying to stay in the game but that tail is like uh, nearly at 90 degrees it must have just had a weird growth thing on it where it's just let me try and zoom in turn around vortex is just spinning him around he swims down but then he just comes back up look at the tail it's like a 90 degree bend on the lad you can't it must just have grown extremely strange there i'm absolutely gutted about this absolutely and it tears me into bits <sighs> watching him and being helpless and being unsure whether to put him out of his misery or what because it's not like we can't help him we can't i don't think it's not like we can put a sling on him and correct his tail back into place and stuff <sighs> it's just such a shame seeing like this Oh, <sighs> my